Hey everyone, welcome to my recap and analysis of the emotional drama The Whale, directed by Darren Aronofsky. This film has been getting widespread critical acclaim all awards season for its heartbreaking story and performances. The Whale tells the psychological tale of Charlie, a reclusive 600-pound English teacher who struggles with severe obesity and is desperately trying to reconnect with his estranged teenage daughter. He seeks redemption by attempting to make amends for past mistakes. Playing the challenging lead role of Charlie is Brendan Fraser, who immerses himself fully into the physicality and emotional turmoil of the character. His raw and devastating performance has been garnering Fraser perfect reviews and comeback buzz. In this video, I'm going to summarize the intricate plot and break down the themes of physical embodiment, addiction, and the human search for redemption. I'll also share my thoughts on the directing, script, and overall filmmaking craft on display. For those interested in powerful character studies or awards season contenders, I think you'll find a lot to analyze and appreciate in The Whale. So without further ado, let's dive into my full recap and analysis. Here are the details for the 2022 movie The Whale. Genre, drama, director, Darren Aronofsky, writer, Samuel D. Hunter, play and screenplay. Production, A24, Protozoa Pictures. Year, 2022. Metacritic score, 81 of 100 based on 50 critic reviews. IMDb rating, 7.6 of 10 based on 54K plus user ratings. Worldwide box office, $15 million. Release date, September 9, 2022, Venice Film Festival, December 9, 2022, United States. Stars, Brendan Fraser, Sadie Sink, Hong Chow, Samantha Morton. Awards, Golden Globe nomination for Best Motion Picture, Drama. Brendan Fraser won several critics awards for his performance. Short plot, reclusive English teacher Charlie struggles with severe obesity and is trying to reconnect with his estranged teenage daughter. He seeks redemption by attempting to right the wrongs of his past. The film received critical acclaim for Darren Aronofsky's direction, Samuel D. Hunter's screenplay, and Brendan Fraser's transformative lead performance. It explores themes of physical embodiment, addiction, and redemption. The Whale is a poignant drama that follows the life of Charlie, an overweight college professor struggling with personal tragedy. It begins with Charlie walking down a long road after getting off a bus, while giving a lecture to his students online. He hides his appearance by pretending his camera doesn't work. Charlie weighs 600 pounds and suffers from chest pains. A missionary named Thomas visits him, hoping to preach the word of God. Despite their differences, Thomas reads an essay about Moby Dick to Charlie, who wants it to be the last thing he hears before he dies. Liz, Charlie's nurse and only friend, intervenes and orders Thomas to leave. Charlie frequently orders pizza from Gombino's, and the delivery man, Dan, briefly interacts with him. Charlie's estranged daughter, Ellie, visits him and resents him for leaving her and her mother, Mary. When she was young, Charlie offers Ellie a large sum of money to spend time with him and help her with schoolwork. Thomas returns to visit Charlie, and Liz confides in him about her past with New Life Church and her brother's suicide. Thomas believes he is there to bring God into Charlie's life. Liz gives Charlie a sandwich, and he chokes on it until she helps him cough up the food. Ellie continues to visit Charlie but remains distant and cold. 
Thomas visits again, and Ellie manipulates the situation by recording his confession about leaving New Life Church. She plans to expose him to his family in Iowa. During Ellie's last visit, Liz brings Mary to the apartment. Ellie reveals that Charlie offered her money, causing Liz to become angry as she wasn't aware of his savings. Ellie berates Charlie, but he talks with Mary, reminiscing about their past and expressing his desire to have done something right in his life. Charlie orders pizza again, and Dan sees him for the first time, reacting with surprise and disgust. This triggers a binge-eating episode for Charlie. He later sends a profane email to his students, urging them to write something honest instead of their assigned writing tasks. In his final lecture, Charlie reads some of his students' honest entries, emphasizing that their thoughts matter more than the course itself. He then smashes his laptop and reveals his appearance to the students. Liz returns to Charlie's apartment, feeling guilty for leaving him. However, they both know he is nearing death. When Ellie returns, Liz tearfully waits downstairs. Ellie is angry about her failed essay, but Charlie reveals that he switched it with an essay she wrote in 8th grade about Moby Dick. As Ellie reads the essay, Charlie walks towards her without his walker. He appears to die, with his spirit rising to heaven. The film ends with Charlie's final thoughts, a memory of him with Ellie and Mary at the beach. The Whale is a heart-wrenching character study that delves deep into issues of physical and emotional embodiment. Brendan Fraser gives a tour de force performance as Charlie, a reclusive 600-pound English teacher trying to reconnect with his estranged daughter. The film wastes no time throwing us into Charlie's destructive daily routine of binge eating and isolation. He hides away teaching online classes, refusing to even open his front door. It's clear food is his only comfort and means of coping with deep psychological wounds. Fraser commits fully to the physical transformation, portraying the character's limited mobility and constant shortness of breath with gut-wrenching realism. But he also brings profound vulnerability and humanity to Charlie's lingering sadness. The film peels back layers of Charlie's backstory through flashbacks, from his previous life as a loving gay father to what led to the demise of his marriage and estrangement from his daughter. These scenes provide needed context for his conflicted emotional state. Director Darren Aronofsky crafts intimate close-ups and claustrophobic mise-en-scene that vividly place us inside Charlie's capsule-like apartment. Like the character, viewers rarely come up for air in this suffocating, melancholy world. Sadie Sink is perfectly cast as Charlie's resentful yet compassionate teen daughter, delivering emotional nuance beyond her years. Their strained yet poignant interactions comprise the beating heart of the story. By the highly emotional climax, the whale succeeds in bringing complex humanity to a character often met with disgust or ridicule. It's a profound meditation on embodiment, addiction, and the quest for atonement, anchored by Fraser's monumental lead performance. The whale will undoubtedly leave most viewers in tears but is essential viewing to spark discussion on societal attitudes towards issues like obesity and mental health. It rightfully deserves awards recognition this season. Here are more details about some of the main characters in The Whale. Charlie, his extensive obesity is both a physical and emotional prison. We learn he was once a loving father and partner but spiraled after a tragedy. Fraser conveys both Charlie's lethargy and hidden yearning to reconnect with others. Ellie, Charlie's rebellious 17-year-old daughter, played refreshingly by Sadie Sink. She's understandably angry at his years of absence but also displays glimpses of lingering care. Ellie challenges Charlie to change and works part-time to support them both. Thomas, Charlie's friend and former lover who blames him for their broken family. In flashbacks they appear joyfully in love, highlighting what Charlie has lost. The character represents Charlie's tragic past and wasted potential. Alan, Charlie's dedicated nurse who helps with daily tasks and medications. Played with compassion by Tyler Hecklin, Alan serves to humanize Charlie beyond his appearance with gentle encouragement and company. Mary, Ellie's mother, only glimpsed in flashbacks expressing contempt for Charlie. 
Her disapproval of his sexuality contributed to his isolation and weight gain after a family fallout. Lucy, Charlie's online friend who offers friendship without judgment, provides hope that true human connection is still possible if Charlie can face his pain and make amends. Here's an analysis of the powerful and moving final scene in The Whale. In the climactic scene, Charlie has invited Ellie over to share a birthday meal he's spent the day preparing. It's a tender act of love and redemption after their long estrangement. Over dinner, Charlie emotionally reads to Ellie from his students' essays about isolation and wanting to feel seen by others. His eyes well up realizing how deeply he craves the same connection. As breathing becomes more labored, Charlie continues pouring his soul out, apologizing profusely to Ellie for his years of absence. Ellie breaks down into tears hearing his raw declarations of love for her. Father and daughter embrace for the first time, a cathartic moment of forgiveness and renewed bond between them. But Charlie's health is visibly deteriorating rapidly. Struggling to breathe, Charlie staggers back trying to make it to his bed one last time. With Ellie by his side crying and calling for help, he collapses on the floor. In his final moments, Charlie's eyes meet Ellie's, conveying the peace of having repaired their relationship before dying. Ellie holds him close, rocking his enormous body with open grief. It's a deeply moving and symbolic death, with Charlie's physical imprisonment finally releasing his spirit after achieving emotional freedom through reconciliation with his daughter. Ellie is left picking up the pieces of their tragic yet redemptive story. Just